We still have them. They're in the process of being busted at the only live broadcast ever from inside Graceland. And we'll we'll be back with more on KLOS. Nobody knows the trouble I see. Nobody knows my sorrow. Nobody knows the trouble I see. We, we got to work that last line up. Well, uh, we're broadcasting from the van now in front of the 7-Eleven. We've been escorted. <laughs> We've been escorted off the entire property. They were not happy. Let us try to update you as to what you've not heard. You probably heard a bit of when they took us off the tour. They had discovered that we were broadcasting, so they took us off the tour and escorted us to the back of Elvis's house into a small room where they were eating cold cuts and bitching at us. They were very, very hard people. Yeah. They really were. They, they came in and we told them about our hearing aid deal. Yeah, that didn't go over well. No, so they took that and looked it over. Couldn't for the life of them figure out what it was. <laughs> now, actually, when we were in Graceland, we heard this, but a security guard came up when we first entered and said, what are those things? And we said, well, these are hearing aids. They're, they're big boxes. He looked. He looked at him and said, "All right, go ahead." Yeah. <laughs> it, had a, it, had a, it had a headphone plug. Yeah. It said frequency band. <laughs> it had KLOS written on the side of it. But he let it through. Uh, at, so what happened basically after they took our umbrella microphones? They then, with the confiscated microphones and stuff, they walked us down Elvis's driveway. Or arm guard, which is much like uh, how Elvis would walk down his driveway. You know damn well he probably did at some point. We felt king-like. And we were instructed to leave the grounds or the police would help us and we got back and they had rex in handcuffs yeah shackles more or less and he kind of liked it he kind of dug the thing and here's a guy coming up with a mark and brian t-shirt on here in men's club <laughs> greetings listener greetings uh Great plan. so why be you here <laughs> i came to see you guys well how very kind of you well, we've been uh, removed from Graceland at this point. I was informed of that by a security guard. Yes. They weren't very happy. Thanks for stopping by. They said that we would all hear about it uh, very shortly, too. What are they saying? Uh, something about copyright laws and... Uh, <laughs> Excellent. We've got that to look forward to then. Right, laws. That's, uh, ooh, that sparks one of the power tune in our head. Well, the best thing we can say is that, um... Oh, God, oh, God, oh God. We, we don't know. Uh, we're, we're in some trouble, and we don't know to what extent. Now, as far as Graceland is concerned, they simply asked us to leave the grounds for this moment. Uh, it's not done. It's not over, and we'll, we'll have to deal with it. Truly a misunderstanding here. And we didn't do anything. We went in and simply let you hear the tour guides and made a few comments about whatever. But, and ask a few questions. We but have alibis. That's what we have. Yeah. Let's hope they work. As soon as we find them, <laughs> we're going to tell you all about them. Yeah. Um, well, uh, we're going to conclude here and find out just how much trouble we're going to be in. Nothing left to be said, actually. We are in front of a 7-Eleven and just a lovely 7-Eleven as they go. We've opted not to put on the fat Elvis costume. We've decided that that would, that would probably be not a good thing to do. No, we were going to do it for the guards and figure to cheer them up, but then we said, no, that's not. You know, these guards, after they had done their job and escorted us out and so forth, you'd think they'd liven up, talk about a little football. They held the Elvis attitude throughout the day. Right hand on their guns the entire time. Ready to shoot us, and they didn't much care. Pretty scary ordeal. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we tried to do something here for you that uh, we, we wanted you to enjoy, and we only got halfway through. We knew it was going to be semi-fun as far as breaking a few rules, but we did not realize that we were going to be in this kind of trouble. Um, so we're going to find out. Uh, hopefully we'll be on the air tomorrow. Nobody knows at this point. Nobody knows the trouble I see. Nobody knows my sorrow. Nobody knows the trouble I see. No deep dumb going in 7 Eleven. Figured we're going to need that last line. All right, hopefully you'll hear from us tomorrow. Until that time, broadcasting. The parking, from the parking lot at 7 Eleven. Uh, this is Mark and Brian from Melva. And KLOS. Goodbye, guys, and good luck.